All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean my tripod today. It's been a while since I've done this, so I figured I'd take you along with the journey. Uh, I have a Gitzo 2542L tripod. Sorry about that. It can be hard to contain the sexiness when there's a nice set of legs around. Let's get back to cleaning tripods. This is a carbon tripod from Gitzo. This will work though with anything with these leg clasps. So if you have something like a Really Right Stuff or a Mi Photo, all of this applies to you too. Before we get started though, let me show you the tools that I'm gonna need for this. I have a little screwdriver and this isn't actually for screws. This is just because the leg clasps in here, I can't get my fingers in between and sometimes you have to pry out the retaining ring. I have a medium to firm bristled toothbrush, something preferably that you haven't used with your teeth. And uh, this lubricant called Super Lube. Super Lube is like a bearing grease. It is more or less a silicone type grease that is water resistant or waterproof. Gitzos actually come with their own lubricant, but I have conveniently left mine in Seattle and I'm in Las Vegas teaching a workshop. So I figured I should do this now and I went to the local hardware store and for about seven bucks I ended up buying myself a tube of this stuff. The other thing I've got is just a dry towel. This is what I'm going to be using to wipe down everything and keep it uh, clean. Other than that, I'm pretty much ready to go. So to start out, I'm going to take one of these legs and I'm going to remove the base, the entire leg, the collar, everything here. Now once I'm inside of this thing, put this to the side here, you see there's this, and this one it's Teflon, but a lot of other ones might use plastic. There's a cap up here though that I need to remove. This Gitzo uses one that's one piece. Older Gitzos and all the other brands generally have two pieces for this, so make sure not to lose those. And I'm going to take off the screw thingy. Inside of here is that little clasp that tightens down as you lock. One of the sides, see what you want, has a little slit cut out of it, which allows me to then fold this in. And usually you can push it right through, but if it gives you a little trouble, this is where I'll take the screwdriver and just pry it off the back wall there to push her through. Now that I'm inside of this beast, and this one actually is a removable foot, which not all do, so I'm just gonna take that off right now. If you don't have a removable foot, you might have a whole bunch of stuff in here, and you might have to then take this into the bathroom or if you have a bucket at your cleaning station, pour some water in there and get out any sand or salt. This one I can see is pretty darn clean inside of there though, so I'm not gonna have to worry too much about that. First thing I'm gonna do, wipe down the whole carbon tube with just my dry towel into all the little fixing. I'm going to do the same with the threads inside of here. If the threads are so nasty that the towel doesn't get it all, that's where the toothbrush comes in. But first I'm going to give it a thorough wiping out. Uh, a lot of schmutz came out of there, but I'm going to go in just to be on the safe side make sure we get all the sand and salt and everything out. Now the clasp itself is covered in salt. Similarly, if this dry towel doesn't take everything off, that's where that toothbrush is gonna come back into play here. Doing a pretty good job though, actually, just taking it off with this little guy. All right. Now that my leg section is all set, I'm going to pop the retaining ring back in. And I get so at least, it's very easy to do so through the top. I'm just going to kind of fold this down so it's smaller than the hole. Plop her in. And seat her into place. Once that's in there, that allows me to slide it back onto the tube. Pop my collar back on. Popping collars. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use that lubricant. This is where the thread that I took her off needs to not only be cleaned, but re-lubricated. So you don't want too much of this stuff on there or it's gonna squish out. And if it squishes out, then you're gonna end up having more sand and dust and dirt accruing on here than you really want. So I'm going to use a very small amount, just a tiny bead. 
and then I'm going to just thread her on there. When I thread it, it's going to end up doing all of the work for me that I don't have to get the schmutz all over my fingers. Okay. Seat her back in. And there we go. Leg section number one done. Uh, looks like I've got about nine more of these to get on, but other than that, you are all set to get out and clean your tripod. Now I'm going to get back at this. See you guys out in the field. If you found this helpful, or didn't for that matter, leave a comment to let me know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get all the latest videos and tutorials. If you want to check out the photography workshops that I lead to bucket list destinations, they're at lightsourcejourneys.com. I've put a link in the description below. While you're there, check out the other free tutorials in the image galleries. And remember, your photographic journey is just beginning.